What is up guys, welcome back to another Roblox extension review video. I guess it's been a fairly long time since we've done a video about checking out extensions, but to be fair guys, I guess I have mostly covered all of the decent ones. In the past, we have covered things like RoPro, Better Roblox, RoGold, Roblox Plus, and much more. Anyway, in today's video, we have a new extension to take a look at. Well, it's kind of new, yeah, let me explain. So today guys, we are going to be looking at RoGold Ultimate. Now you might be thinking, row gold haven't we already covered that now the thing is yeah we have however guys there is a brand new version called row gold ultimate which only came out very recently it's literally brand new for 2023 and this extension is very very cool it's got this like really nice minimalistic design i really like the theming the layout it just looks incredibly good i'm sure some of you guys watching this video have probably seen this extension already because creekcraft uses it so obviously it shows up in quite a lot of his live streams i saw many people were asking Creek on Twitter what extension it was. And yeah, it's this one, Rogold Ultimate. We are going to be checking it out and reviewing it in today's video. Now, before we get into the review, I just want to warn you quickly, Rogold Ultimate does cost money. So I can, in fact, show you. So here you go, Rogold Ultimate. If I just scroll down a bit, here you go. So you can either pay for it monthly, annually, or pay once. If you pay once, that's like $200 or 140 for the normal edition. The developer edition is a bit more expensive. 140 for it permanently, it's not really too bad if you think about it. We also have annually, so that's like 50 a year. And then we also have monthly, which is only £5 a month. Now, I'm sure some of you guys watching are going to be like, Shark, I don't want to pay money. I don't want to subscribe to like a subscription service or anything. And yeah, I can completely understand that. So if you guys actually click on go free at the top, you can install the free version of Rogold. Now, I have made a video about this before. It's still pretty decent. We can clearly see here, it doesn't quite have the same theming as Rogold ultimate but it's still very useful it still comes with a ton of features like i said it's free and i'll tell you what we might as well install this first so if we just click on get it for free then it should bring you over to the web store page so if you're using google chrome microsoft edge or even firefox it will bring you to the page which is supported by a browser and yeah you can just install it so let's just click on add to chrome then i'm just going to click on add extension it's very simple and there you go we now have row gold installed i'll actually link everything down below for each of the free browsers. Like I said, guys, I've done basic Rogold before, but over on my Roblox profile, right now I don't have any plugins running. So let's press F5 to refresh the page. It's going to update into Rogold. And there we are. The theming is just looking a bit nicer. As you can see, some new tabs are loading in as well. So we've got about, we've got creations here, and we also have, oh, the collectibles tab. Yeah, I forgot about that. That's a really, really good um, Rogold feature. You can actually list off all of your limited items. So if you're a trader, finding limited items this way is very useful. It tells you the price and stuff like that and everything you need to know. There's a few other options added like copying links and stuff like that. And yeah, if you guys want a basic Roblox extension that's safe, you know, it doesn't have any problems with it. And yeah, make sure to go and get Rogold. Oh yeah, it also had this thing where it tells you what time of day it is. So afternoon, morning, evening. I like that. That's kind of cool. One of my favorite Rogold features is over on the avatar shop. There's quite a few. There's like a quick get button where you can buy stuff straight away. But there is also a Rogold category. Now, if you click on this, guys, it comes up with like random accessories and you can very quickly find cheap items. So if we just do a quick refresh here, as you can see, it's going to come up with free stuff, stuff for 50 Robux, stuff for 15 Robux. This is very useful if you don't have a lot of Robux or maybe you don't want to spend so much. You can very quickly find some cheap accessories for your avatars. I'm pretty sure guys, I can also go over to my settings and in the settings, if you just select row gold down here, it's going to load in with all of the information. So there you go, there's links. Oh, you can get this on your iPhone as well. I made a video about that not too long ago. And so there's also all types of settings you can configure. So yeah, make sure to go and get Royal Gold. It's very useful. Like I said, this is the free version. Now I think we should probably check out the paid version. Let's go and get Royal Gold Ultimate because this is like the main topic of this video, of course. Most of you guys have seen Royal Gold and all of its features. So let's carry on scrolling down on the features list. And here is Royal Gold Ultimate. So we can see it comes with quite a lot of new things, including a remade version of the Roblox UI, a leveling system where you can play games and you can level up on leaderboards and stuff that's very interesting it also has avatar homes now avatar homes kind of reminds me of like a tamagotchi kind of thing it basically has your character on your profile it looks really awesome i'll show you guys what that looks like in a minute we've got infinite scrolling disable roblox ads that's always good track your playtime on games track on friends so if somebody unfriends you yeah it lets you know appear offline especially good for youtubers or people that don't want to be seen online we have power search as well so you can search through games profiles items groups market 
it, you get the idea. And so there is also a developer edition, which I'm probably not really going to touch on in today's video, mainly because I'm not a developer. But so if you're somebody which sells UGC items or has a very popular Roblox game, then you can track stuff with your games, like time spent making it, I believe how many people are playing it, all of that kind of stuff. So guys, I'm going to link Rogold Ultimate down below. And what we're going to do is we are going to click on Add to Chrome. Then we are just going to click on Add Extension. Now it's going to bring you over to your Roblox settings. And what you need here is a Rogold Ultimate key. Now, if you guys don't have one, you can actually buy one from here. Now, obviously, it's going to bring you to the price section, which we have already talked about earlier. So if you want to subscribe and get a key, well, this is where you do it. I was very kindly provided a key by Alex, the guy that made this. So let me just go and enter my key. I'm going to have to censor this so nobody else uses it. But let's just go and submit. Then it says, are you sure you wish to link your Roblox account with this key? I'm just going to click on OK. And here we are. Welcome to Rogold Ultimate. You have been logged out of an older session as you can only connect to two sessions at once. You have successfully linked your Roblox account with this key. So there you go. That's perfect. I can click on OK. Then it's going to load me to the Roblox My Account section. And wow, look at this. Info Profiles General Homepage Developers. This is actually the Roblox website. This isn't the Rogold website. Now I'm just going to go on the navigation menu. I'm going to go over to my profile. And look at this, guys. This looks insane. It just looks like such a modern version of Roblox. Here's the avatar home thing I was talking about. So I've got the abandoned warehouse selected. And you can see I can drag around my avatar. I can see the items I've got selected. Look at this thing. That's amazing. It's so cool, isn't it? You can zoom in and out, by the way. So yeah, this warehouse is looking kind of mad. Not going to lie. I think I'd want to explore that in real life. But yeah, we've got all of our friends. We've got collections. We've got groups. Just like the normal stuff you'd have on your profile. But it just looks incredibly nice and futuristic. We can click on creations as well. See all of our groups, all the models and clothing we've made. You know, guys, I kind of want to check out Creek's profile. So if we go up here to the search, let me just type in his name. So wait, what was Creek's name? Was it something weird? Was it like Starcode Real Creek or something? Was it that Starcode Real Creek? Is that him? Oh, that is him. Level up, level two. Wait, is that me? That might be me. I don't know. Oh, I like Creek's profile though. Creek up. That banner looks awesome. He's got his home. He's got a closet room. Yeah, you can just tell that my profile is just a lot cooler than Creek's, but you know, I just wanted to give you guys an example. It's really cool actually looking at other people's profiles that also have Rogue Gold Ultimate installed. I would send him a friend request, but he's not really cool enough, let's be honest. Now, one thing I want to show you about Creek's profile is as you can see his avatar here, he's got some like glowing ring around it. And as you guys can see on my profile, I don't have that. Mine's just blue. Well, if we actually click on customize profile, you can see here I can upgrade avatar borders. Now it tells you how to upgrade. So you have to get to levels. So this one was level five. Oh, so I guess Creek must be level five then. So mine's like some yellow line which goes around. It looks pretty cool. I guess that's level two. Oh, I see. So Creek was using that one. Right. I get it. So there's quite a few homes you can get. I think you have to unlock them at different levels. Now, if you guys are wondering how to level up, well, you basically have to play Roblox games. So yeah, guys, let's give this a try. As you can see here, the Rogold leveling system earn rewards by simply playing games on Roblox with Rogold Ultimate. So let's go and give this a try. There's also a leaderboard, which we can maybe try and get on. I doubt we actually will though. Now, I just want to say, guys, this doesn't work on every Roblox game, but I found a game here, Mage Tycoon. And if you scroll down, once you have Rogold Ultimate and you check out the badges, we can see we get 25 XP per badge. I think that's how it works. I think it's 25. So maybe we can try and get the Easter egg badge because I think that one's kind of easy. Let's jump into the game. Let's go and open Roblox. Oh, I like the play like icon sort of GUI thing. That looks cool. So here is how to get the secret egg badge inside of Mage Tycoon. If you are curious, it's pretty easy to get. You have to do like an obby thing. Then you have to go over to like a maze. I'll let you guys watch the footage. The maze was kind of tricky, actually. I don't really know if I can show a tutorial on how to do that. You just have to like walk around it basically. And yeah, eventually you will complete it. So yeah, you guys can watch this and I basically just get the badge. So after getting that badge, I think if I go over to my profile, yeah, here we are. You guys can now see I'm level two. So I got a little bit of XP. Okay, so it was eight, not 25. And I was playing the game for eight minutes to get that. So there you go. That's how you level up. Now, there was also a leveling up leaderboard, which I think I can find on my homepage. Here you go. So if I click on view leaderboard, there's probably going to be some people that are very good. Oh, so this guy's number one. Sideburst or something. Then we've got the Asher of the world. So that's pretty cool. There's loads of people on this leaderboard. I'm probably like all 
the way down because I've got like 67 XP. But yeah, you guys get the idea. What's this one? Views? Maybe I might be on this. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, by the looks of it, I'm not. But Creekcraft is. Oh, and if I didn't already say, if you're looking for games which have XP, go over to your homepage. If you scroll down, you should be able to find XP enabled games. And if you scroll through here, you can see there is quite a few. So all different types of games, first person shooters, tycoons, simulators, loads of different stuff. If we have a quick look at the layout, you can see we have experiences. If you click on that, this is what the games page looks like. So it looks pretty cool, you know, it shows like tons of Roblox games. Then we also have catalog or avatar shop, which looks exactly like this. I guess we can try out using it. Should we go and find some recently updated stuff? Let's just go on recently created, show unavailable. And yeah, this is what the catalog will look like. If you select an item, so click on it, this is what the item sort of page looks like. You can try them on stuff like that. I guess having the better Roblox plugin would also work with this. And yeah, if you want to buy them, you just click on the buy button, which is down there. I do like this GUI. It does look very cool. There is also a redeem tab. So if you've got any gift cards or promo codes or toy codes, then yeah, you go and enter them here. And obviously the final one is transactions. So you can see how much money you've made. Along the side on the navigation bar, we have home, profile, messages, friends, avatar, inventory, trade, and groups. Now, all of these basically look the same except for groups. Groups looks very cool. It's had like a whole sort of overhaul. So you can see I've got my group icon and it also has my banner from my Twitter profile because I have my Twitter linked. Now, I think that would be awesome if Roblox made that a real thing, but yeah, this is cool. Oh, I just realized I do have the dev panel. I guess for me, it's kind of pointless. UGC is coming soon and groups is coming soon. But yeah, you can see the live stats on your games and I don't even have any games or any game passes running. So it's a bit pointless for me. I do really like how the settings page looks. This looks cool. And obviously if we scroll down, we've got the Rogold ultimate settings, pretty much what I showed you at the start when we first went onto this. And yeah, there's loads of options here like info, profiles, general homepage. If we click on one of these, we can see I can unlink my account if I want to. I can go to profiles and stuff. So yeah, honestly guys, this is really, really cool. Oh, appear offline mode. Yeah, I forgot about that. I can try that actually. Power search, XP progress. Let's just see. Oh, welcome text. I might as well turn that on as well. We've got developers. I've got that enabled, but like I said, I don't really need to use that. So yeah, that's how you access the Rogold ultimate settings as well. The search feature at the top is really good actually. So if I just type in shark blocks, you can search it in profiles, games, items. So there's games. Oh, I didn't know there were so many shark blocks games. Then obviously you've got profiles. So probably a load of random accounts called shark blocks. We've got items. So this is stuff that you guys have made by the looks of it. We've got groups. So my group will probably come up and we also have markets. No items found. That could be like free models and decals and stuff. I don't really know. But over on my James 5 account, did peer offline mode work? Let's have a look. And I'm not sure. It says website here. Okay, I might need to refresh it. Let me just check. Oh, I see. It takes five minutes and it only works if you're not playing a game. So I'm going to have to wait a few minutes. There we are. I'm back three minutes later and now it's working. So that's definitely a nice feature, especially for me because I'm always getting people trying to find when I'm online and I don't really know why to be honest. And that is Rogold Ultimate. I'm pretty sure I covered everything. If I missed anything out, maybe I'll do like an updated video or like a YouTube short or something. But yeah, if you guys want this, I'll link it down below. I do also have a discount code for you guys. I'll put that on the screen if you want to use it. So for my honest review guys on the premium edition of Rogold known as Rogold Ultimate, I would say if you're somebody which uses the Roblox website a lot, but you don't really like the generic look, then yeah, get Rogold Ultimate for sure. It will make your Roblox browsing experience on the website a lot nicer. It just looks cool, you know, and it has many customizable options. However, if you're somebody which just plays Roblox games and you don't really use the website or care about it that much, I would honestly say maybe miss out on this one. Like it's definitely not really for the newer Roblox players. And yeah, if you enjoyed this review, as always, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Check out my other reviews on other Roblox extensions if you want to get those as well. Cheers for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.